to have in general. I'm going to wait for this little run right here. There we go. Good little attacking play. Low cross. Nice little finish. Great goal. Yeah, it's one of those, like I said, it's one of those cards that it's actually really fun to tell them to get forward. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, EA just released an SBC from the Bundesliga. A pretty disappointing one, I would say, because uh, they do have, I think, one or two right backs that are pretty decent so far that's released from this game from a flashback Pishek and a um, Mbabu Europa League card. But it just depends on whether or not you guys even got the flashback Pishek. Mbabu, most people should have done if they did the gameplay objectives. I didn't because I wasn't playing FIFA in that way in that during that time frame but Mbabu is still one of the better right backs in this game in general so uh this card also looks very good it does look like a very very good card it is lacking that physical aspect that Mbabu has in regards to you know being taller and whatnot but this card does look really good we're looking at a card that is five foot nine with high high work rates three star skill moves and a four star weak foot so obviously the five foot nine thing is kind of off-putting already by itself but this guy looks like a very, very good all-round car because if you take a look at his stats specifically, he has 93 acceleration with 93 sprint, sprint speed. So that with the anchor chemistry style is going to be very helpful. Um, he has decent shooting capabilities. If you really want to, you can actually give this card... Um, I believe there's a chemistry style that gives him a shooting and defense or something crazy like that. So you could totally do that and it would work really, really nicely. But again, for me, mostly with right backs and full backs in general is I want them to be good defensively. And then when they can attack, they do attack, right? But he can shoot the ball. So that is a chemistry style you could add to the card and make him really nice. Um, he does have passing stats, which is fantastic. You always need passing stats for any player on the pitch, really. Um... But, you know, it just depends on which ones you need it in more places than others. Because you guys know I like to play the 4-2-3-1. So I like to rotate my play around um, the sides and be able to pass that ball uh, to the outside while they kind of like transition back on the inside. So that's nice that he has good passing. Uh, dribbling for a fullback is going to be fantastic on this card as well. 87 agility with 86 balance, 86 reactions. All that kind of stuff is going to be very nice. Also because of the fact that he is... Five foot nine. Those dribbling stats will be even more noticeable, right? So if they were, if it was those dribbling stats, but it was like Mbabu, he would be a beast. By the way, because he's big. But five foot nine, you're going to notice that more agile aspect towards it. Five foot nine is interesting to have in the, in the right back position because I want to see um, how good this card's going to be. Because honestly, he he could be very very good. I'm not going to say he's not right. It could be like a a UCL Jordi Alba card. Like UCL Jordi Alba card is really nice, right? Um, defensive stats, you're increasing his stats with the anchor chemistry style as well, so you're essentially giving him, I wouldn't even say near perfect defending because it's not there yet, but as a fullback, they, you, de you definitely get um, good defensive boosts in general. And then physical capabilities is really nice because he has 99 aggression, 99 aggression with near perfect pace, and 83 strength with the anchor chemistry style is going to be very helpful, I think. I think that's going to be a huge thing defensive-wise uh, to be able for, uh, for you to be able to get the ball and stuff. Uh, then he also gets the 88 jumping, which obviously is five foot nine, so it's not going to be like a huge difference. But it's always nice to have jumping than to not have jumping. So that's the whole point with this card. It is a good card. It is disappointing that they released a right back, in my opinion, because with defenders it's kind of like a little bit lackluster. But at the same time, it is what it is that we get whatever we get at this, at this point, right? Uh, this is the team that we are using, so it's the same but it's like a team that my boy uh, usually lends me. And honestly, it's really fun to use. Like, I, I really enjoy using it. In regards to the custom tactics, he always puts it in my copy German League team. Um, we're going to be using the same ones that we normally do, as we always do. Uh, we're going to do five. I'm going to do this and this. And then I'm going to put players in the box set to three with five on balance. Boom, boom. And then the instructions, because we want to try out the 99 stamina, because we want to try out his play style in general, we're going to go ahead and put him on join the attack because I want to see what he's like transitioning back. As you guys know, when we use players like Alex Tellez, when he pushes up, he instantly pushes back just as much. So that's always like a really nice thing to have. I am going to do mixed attack because I want to see how often he actually transitions on the inside and how often he transitions on the outside. So that's going to be something that I'm going to, I'm going to be taking a look at. But this team is freaking awesome. I love, I love the way that it's lined up in general. Really, really fun team to use. So, uh, yeah, that's how we're going to be lined up. We're going to try him on the attacking front and see uh, and see if he's a good card. Honestly, his stats look incredible. So, I, I, I do think he's going to be very good. Would I prefer to use the Europa League in Babu? I would probably say yes to it. I think my boy actually has him just chilling in the club. Because he's actually made uh, two different teams. He's made two different teams for the Bundesliga. Because he's a, he's a mainly Bundesliga guy. 
This is the Mbabu card, by the way. As you can see that with the uh, Sentinel card, you know, with the 92 acceleration, 95 sprint speed already, it's it's a very, very nice card, right? Dribbling is a little bit off, but his physical capabilities are fantastic, especially since he's six foot tall. So that height being five foot nine is definitely going to be um, interesting to see and try out and see how he plays in games. So let's get into a game and uh, see how he plays. sign says in the players tunnel this is Anfield Alan Smith has joined me Martin Tyler for the commentary the action comes from the Puck Rivals competition this should his dribbling is very noticeable game. so far generally speaking it's uh it's actually really really nice I think if we get a, a nice sharp quick tempo good passing stats in general nice little direct pass right there might be able to open the space right here ball roll oh no ball roll we'll work off that I think telling him to get forward is actually going to be a nice thing to have just because of the fact that he's high, high work rates. I think it'll be a very beneficial thing. Nice. Great goal there. I love this team, man. This team that he has is absolutely fantastic. It's super, super nice. Nice little run right there. Yeah, his aggressive attacking is fantastic. Nice. Little cross instantly. Oh, a really good cross there, man. A really, really good cross there. Yeah, he transitions pretty quickly as well. You know what's actually good about pushing this card out of position is that... Um, because of those high, high work rates and that really good stamina that he has, it'll actually be really nice to have him on get forward. Do with it. Oh, good defensive play right there with him. Heading accuracy, not necessarily there, but uh, getting the ball in general is a good situation right there. All right, let's see what his tracking is like here. Now his actual defending. His transitioning is really fast. So that agility, balance, and general dribbling stats that he has are very, very noticeable in the card, especially because he's five foot nine. Um, that's definitely going to be a noticeable thing for sure in game. Nice. Nice. Yeah, his dribbling is really responsive. That situation right there, the only reason why I lost the ball is because I, I actually pressed the R-trigger acceleration, which you really shouldn't do in some attacking thirds. Um, there's really no point to doing it because they will do a huge emphasis most of the times. So I should have passed the other CDM there, not the guy in the middle, but uh, yeah. You guys can see that, like, when I attack with this card, he instantly goes back into position, which is really, really nice. You can see here, good little pace right there with the 98-98. Nicely done to get away from the, def the attacker right there. And you can see that because of that 99 stamina, even if I tell him to get forward, he still has good stamina, right? So it's it's really nice to, to have in general. I'm going to wait for this little run right here. There we go. Good little attacking play. Low cross, nice little finish. Great goal. Yeah, it's one of the, like I said, it's one of those cards that it's actually really fun to tell him to get forward. They can spread the play now. Nice. See that that instant transition back? That was super nice. He's very agile, man. It's very noticeable. There we go. All right, guys, so final verdict on the card. It doesn't take a long time to realize if a fullback's going to be really good or not. Um, the anchor chemistry style is the thing that makes a huge difference on the card because of his base card stats already being very good, right? Dribbling, very noticeable because of the fact that he's 5'9", it, it makes it even more noticeable in game, right? Um, his passing is obviously very good for the right back position to be able to lay it off to the right cam or to the midfielders really nicely. Nice little driven passes he had as well. You know, the very generic stuff that are very that's that's very nice on the card. The anchor with the 90, uh, 98 acceleration with 98 sprint speed, 99 aggression, super, super noticeable. Okay. The instruction of telling him to get forward 
was awesome on the card because he instantly transitioned back. Before I even realized uh, he was back in position, he was already there, right? So that's a fantastic off the ball movement from him for him to be able to attack and be like, you know what? I need to get back into position instantly. So also a very, very huge thing. Alex Tellez doesn't even do that as much as this card. Like this card always did it, even when I told him to stay, to get forward, right? So very, very big thing on the card. 275K is very expensive for him. If you guys did the Europa League in Babu, it's better to just use that card. Um, I didn't do that card because I wasn't doing gameplay objectives at that time. But if I was, if I was doing it at that time, which most people should have been, um, that card is really, really good, right? So this is just one of those like cool SBCs that you do because you kind of, you kind of had to, you had to realize that they were going to bring in a Bundesliga SBC because of the SBCs they've been releasing recently with the, um, with the other leagues, right? So. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video today. I don't know if they're going to do a Liga Noj one, because if they did, I would have I would prepare prepare myself and buy players, but I don't think they're going to do it for the big league. So, I don't know. I have no idea. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video today. The guy's really good. Everything that's bad about the card is not noticeable because it's just the finishing. And it's like, I don't really shoot often on my fullbacks anyways, but it's still 69, 85, and 83 composure, which is still pretty decent, right? So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.